Hi, I'm Lee Perkins from LeePerkins.com, a site that teaches you all about studio photography, boudoir, nude and studio lighting. So today I want to show you the inside of my new studio. I started building this about eight or nine months ago. Really pleased with the way it's come out. Some really good innovations that I've put in there and I want to show them all to you today. So follow me and we'll go and take a look. So here's the deck space. Uh, not exactly the studio space, but it is a really nice space to sit and have a drink after we've finished filming, after we've finished shooting. Uh, really pleased with this. The views are amazing and I'll show you those in a little while. In the meantime, follow me into the office and I'll show you my new place of work. So here we go. Uh, this is my new workspace. Uh, got my desk, got my Mac, um, got a really lovely seating area here where I can receive my clients, where I can show them pictures on the big screen over there which is mirrored from my Mac. Uh, and uh, yeah, really nice space to welcome clients um, and models alike. Um, really pleased with that. Let's go into the studio and show you where the magic happens. This is my new studio space. A uh, bit bigger than my old studio, 3.1 meter high ceiling. So I'm really pleased about that. Got some great ceiling height here. Um, it means that with the ceiling rig here, we can get the lights nice and high, really good for some nice sort of standing up portrait type lighting. And it also means that I'm not cracking my head on the ceiling anymore. Looks a bit like a blackout studio at the moment because we've got these curtains over here and we've got the blackout panels over there as well. And to all intents and purposes, that's what it is. But I got some secrets behind these curtains and behind those panels that I think you're gonna like. I'm gonna show you those panels right now. The old panels, they were fixed. You used to have to pick them up, move them side to side. These pivot and slide. Got curtain rails that go all the way around the studio for these blackout curtains and these voils so I can position those anywhere in the studio that I like. Just gonna move these along a little bit now. So in a nutshell, there we go, sliding and rotating background panels. They work really well, especially when you're creating that big window light effect that you might have seen in some of my other videos. I'm just gonna move those out of the way now completely because there's a couple of things back here I wanna show you as well. Okay, so there we go, background panels out of the way. All of a sudden we've got a bit more shooting space. The other thing, the idea behind this was, we've got some great storage space back here and these can all move out of the way. Um, they're all on wheels and dollies. Uh, so you're just creating a lot of space to be able to work in. Also, uh, we have got our uh, curves back here. Where we've got even more storage back there. Um, however, I will tell you a little secret. We don't have enough storage. Uh, the design is gonna be changed very slightly sometime over the next few weeks. Uh, we didn't leave quite enough space back here. We found that when we've been using the studio recently. So we're gonna move these rails and these uh, sliding mechanisms forward, maybe just about another half a meter to give us that bit more extra storage space back there. Okay, so we've talked about my wonderful sliding rotating background panels. Um, they work really well for that kind of art nude type look actually, I should mention that. Uh, we've got a black floor that we roll out there as well, black vinyl floor um, and uh, shoot against this black, uh, background panels, these lines disappear, works really nicely. Okay, uh, next thing I wanna show you is just behind these curtains. Uh, you might remember in my old studio, we had a kind of damask wallpaper look, um, uh, as well as a black wall on the other side. It was kind of a little bit repetitive, so I wanted to create something a little bit different. So we have our wood paneled wall. I'm really enjoying shooting against this. It's kind of got this 3D effect to it, really simple to install. Uh, it's actually laminate uh, walling. It's like laminate flooring, but laminate walling. Uh, really easy to install, like I said. Um, it's really smooth, so you don't get any splinters or anything like that off it. But the texture of it, the feel of it, works really well. Loving shooting against that. Let's show you the next innovation. Hi, so me and Ziggy are at this end of the studio now, up by the office doorway. Uh, and I want to talk to you about these uh, paneled walls that we created. So this was an idea that we had because we wanted to create another usable shooting area in the studio. Um, but obviously we had to incorporate the office door into that. Uh, so we came up with this panelled wall idea. And it literally is just simply uh, strips of MDF cut to size, 
stuck on the wall and then painted with this neutral blue gray uh, paint which is really good for shooting against by the way because it uh, doesn't give you any horrible color cast onto skin tone um, and you can really knock the saturation of them down as well you can light them really low um, or you can light them near really bright so they're very versatile works really well love the architraving and a little detail on the door frames around here uh, really pleased with that however that's not the best bit. <laughs> okay, so the best bit is behind these curtains because we've got the blackout curtains so we can create a blackout look again, but we have even more panelled walls and they go right up uh, um, to there. So we've got this great kind of corner area that we can shoot against uh, and uh, we incorporated the picture rail up there so we can even hang uh, kind of pictures or things like that. Um, from the wall or mirrors to give a, 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 a kind of room setting. Uh, so yeah, really pleased with these. However, that's not the best bit. <laughs> I'm getting there. The best bit is this. Okay, this wall, hold on. It moves. So we can slide that down and we can reveal our beautiful views down there. And we're gonna pull those all the way back and we've got these bifold doors in here. This is what makes this space such a great space to work in. That wall's out of the way. We can still use this wall. We've got these windows here and these got these amazing views. I'm not sure if you can see those yet or not, but we'll maybe have a look in a second. Um, and we can shoot daylight. So we've got our studio flash, but now we've got daylight as well. I'll show you what happens when we just pull these voils across because this creates a really nice lighting effect for daylight shooting. Incidentally, it's a westerly facing uh, window. So uh, we kind of get a fairly constant light most of the day, apart from maybe towards the end of the day when we get some amazing sunset straight over there. So all we do is we just pull these walls across this window. We diffuse this light coming in. And that creates some amazing lighting effects. It looks really beautiful. Better on models than me, um, but uh, yeah. So really pleased with that, works really nicely. Let me just show you a little bit more about that though. Uh, let's get these out of the way. Remember I showed you the sliding wall. It's not just a sliding wall. It's two sliding walls. So we can effectively create any size space there that we want. Again, we can use the voils to uh, kind of put a, a line down the, uh, down the edges here to hide those. And uh, so we can create some uh, shooting spaces in here. Uh, we still got our corner that we can work with. <laughs> really pleased with those. And this whole thing slides all the way down to the other end of the studio if we want to. Um, so we can cover up that wood paneled wall that we had at the other end and actually use it at the other end of the studio if we want to, maybe with a bed in front of it. Really, really versatile. Uh, so pleased with this. Um, took quite a lot of designing. Um, uh, I'm gonna be doing a, another video on how I actually made those uh, and show you lots of images using them as well. So stay tuned for that at some point in the future. So every studio needs a hair and makeup uh, station uh, and this is ours. Kept it reasonably simple. Uh, we've got our mirror here, illuminated mirror, and that's just hung on uh, a wire with hooks at the top on the picture rail. So that can just be taken away really easily. Furniture can be moved out of the way and then we've got a, uh, another usable shooting space. So we obviously needed a bathroom, a toilet, what have you, uh, in the new studio. Oh my God, did this take a lot of planning. <laughs> uh, trying to find the right size space for a toilet and a wash basin and a changing area without encroaching too much onto the studio area because we, you know, we only had so much space and we didn't want to waste that space. So oh, we went round and round in circles with it. Anyway, we've come up with this um, uh, really nice little bathroom uh, area. Uh, we've got a little storage cupboard up there as well, which is really handy. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, really nice bathroom area. Uh, just really simple. We've got a, uh, a, a nice modern toilet, and wash basin, a little storage cupboard, and somewhere nicer models to be able to get changed. So here's another little innovation that I should really mention. Uh, it's just a little workstation trolley. Uh, I made it myself. Uh, it's on wheels, um, so you can move around the studio wherever you want, as is the uh, TV stand as well, so you can move that around wherever you want. The uh, storage trolley um, actually just has a kettle lead adapter on there, so I can basically plug that in anywhere in the studio from any of the lighting cables or an extension lead if I take one off the floor. 
I should mention there are no power outlets uh, on the walls anywhere apart from one underneath the makeup station over there. I didn't want any kind of light switches or power sockets cluttering up the walls and getting in the way of shots and effectively reducing the places where I could shoot in the studio. So there's no sockets anywhere around on the walls. They're all on the ceiling um, up by the studio rig apart from that one down there under the makeup station. Uh, so yeah, so I needed to be able to uh, power this um, somewhere, wherever it was going to be positioned. Uh, so that little kettle lead adapter works really well. Plug it into the lighting cables, uh, or I say an extension cable. Uh, also put a four-way adapter on here. So um, basically we can take a power outlet there. That powers the TV. Uh, and then I can screen mirror uh, from my Mac. And that gives me a really good proofing tool when I'm shooting, so I can actually see what I'm shooting. Uh, because we shoot Wi-Fi, from the Z6 straight into the laptop. Images come up there within a couple of seconds. Um, works really nicely as a proofing tool, um, both for me and also clients or models to be able to see the images as we're going along. So there we go. I'm gonna try and include some plans for how I built that onto my website. Um, so you'll be able to see that um, and possibly even make one yourself. Uh, I hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, for now, I'm gonna leave you with some amazing views out of my studio. Uh, and uh, see you next time.